Hi guys! Um, okay, so I know it's been a while since I made a video and I wasn't really planning on making a video today But I thought I'd give just a little life update on life in Vancouver Because I actually had a couple really nice people reach out and DM me or send me emails and they're like, are you okay? Like you haven't posted in a while and I was like mind blown. I'm like there are people who care enough about my channel to actually check in like that's so sweet But let me fill you in <laughs> I was offline for a, a while because I had a family member in the hospital, which was very trying. My mom flew out and was taking care of him and was kind of staying with us. And it was just a very high stress environment. I didn't really want to make videos. Yeah. But having my mom here with that said, like for the short time that she was, was really lovely. Overall, you know, anytime you get to see your parent, um, it's really nice. Uh, so I like seeing the good in it. Also, then it was the holidays, and then, you know, holiday things happen. We're getting together with friends and having family over. Alex's dad came to town, you know, spending time going for walks outside in the snow. Um, speaking of snow, actually, we had an amazing experience. Me and Alex, we, we had our anniversary on the 27th of December and we went snowshoeing up at Cypress Mountain and that was my first time being up there like proper. And it was so beautiful. Can I show you guys? Hold on, let's see. about the other big life update um, and this doesn't really matter to anyone but me but um, I quit my job no I'm just kidding I'm not ballsy enough to do that but I did step down on my job so I went from full-time to part-time and that is because I really want to focus on more creative passion projects um, in my life moving forward so this year I'm gonna be focusing instead on doing more freelance design work so if you need branding done if you need help in that department let me know um, and also just passion projects because I just want to keep leveling up my skill set and trying out new things that I'm interested in 
And sometimes at a job, you know, it like I love my job and I love my company and that's why I'm sticking with them on a part-time basis. But sometimes you just want to do something that pushes you and forces you to learn. But ultimately, long story short, um, I'm just a person who was working a nine to five that wasn't really challenging me creatively anymore. Um, and there are aspects of it that definitely do still challenge me. Um, however, I want to do other types of things. And sometimes the only way to do that is to do projects for yourself. Um, you know, when you have a client, when you have um, external pressures, they're always kind of influencing what you're creating. And the only real way to have control over what you're making is to kind of be an artist. I'm kind of at this place where I want to focus more on things that I'm really proud of. And I don't know if in the past couple of years I've made many things that I'm like actually proud of. Sometimes I make videos on this channel and I'm very proud of them. Um, but, and then sometimes I make things for other people and I'm not, you know what I mean? What? I want to start off by saying this is a hard update to make. Um, I'm just having a hard time. I've been off YouTube now for a couple of weeks and I feel like it shows. Anyway. <laughs> One of the challenges that I found with this current channel that you're watching right now uh, is that this channel is a mess. The Harmony Vash on my personal channel, it's always been a creative place where I've just kind of made whatever it is I want. Anyway, when you have a channel that's about a bunch of different things, um, the algorithm kind of gets confused and it's just been really hard to grow the channel and get the content in front of the right people. So I'd rather just make, a, or I'm, I'm focusing this year on starting my second channel put all my creative stuff over there and hopefully just have it more streamlined. Moving forward, uh, this channel is still something I'm gonna like upload on, but I think it's gonna be more of a vlog and lifestyle channel. It already kind of is that, but yeah, it's just gonna be more so, a little bit more personal. Um, so I guess that's what you can anticipate. As for the main focus of this year, I'm gonna be posting on my other channel, Harmony Creative, which I'm trying to um, do something with because I've had it for a while. And that's kind of my life update. So I hope you liked it. P.S. I want to do a new segment on this channel. I'm sorry my mic's not plugged in. But at the end of videos, I want to do like a what am I reading segment. And so what I'm reading right now is a Canadian book called From the Ashes. And it's a memoir by a Métis author. And he talks about, you know, growing up, his dad was an addict. His mom kind of like abandoned him. So he grew up with his grandparents and he's homeless, he's addicted to drugs, you know, he has like lived the worst of the worst and it's his story of overcoming that and he goes on to do some pretty cool things. So that's what I'm reading right now. Let me know what you're reading. The first book that I read of the year was Where the Crawdads Sing and I can't recommend that book enough and I really enjoyed the premise. I loved the world that the book was set in and you really step in the shoes of the main character. She's a girl who's like living in the marsh by herself essentially from the age of six, learning to fend for herself up until adulthood. There's a murder mystery in there. It has like a bunch of great uh, aspects to it. So that's the what I'm reading segment. Let me know what you're reading and what you're up to in 2022 in the comments if you're interested.